In this video I'm going to get myself ready for the Halloween. Swatch Savaland acrylic kit that glows in the dark and will share a really scary story that happened three years ago in Russian nail community. Coming up. Hello guys, Anastasia here and I have a new package from Savaland. Let's take a look at this acrylic powder nail kit. Ooh, they're located differently. We have 10 acrylic colors, small jars. They always come with a protective seal, so you do not need to worry about spilling during transportation, because it never happens. This kit includes mostly neon colors, but these are not ordinary colors. They also glow in the dark, and each color glows in a different way when the lights are out. I'm using Savaland products for quite a while now, I think for more than one year, and I love their acrylic powders. The quality is really good, it's easy to apply, and most colors have a very intense pigment, so you do not need to apply a thick layer to get the color. I love this one, however, I do not know why it's called coral red, I would call it light orange or peach, but it's cute. And then we have an actual neon orange color. Savaland acrylic powders, the color powders, they are slow setting, but I would say they are reasonably slow setting. So they do not set too fast, but on the other hand, it's not like you need to sit and wait until it cures. But it also depends on the monomer that you're using. China Red is a classic red color, also perfect for Halloween, probably will using this one too. Then we have purple. This one seems like a little bit of jelly color. I intentionally apply more color near the cuticle of the tip, well, let's call it cuticle area, and less product on the tip so you can see how it looks like when you apply more and less. I like this blue color so much, oh man, that's the moment when you feel sad that you only have uh, five fingers on one hand, you know, I definitely need more and I need to redo only my left hand. Anyways, this is the entire kit, we have nude color and all the rest of the colors are neon and bright, I think they all look awesome and I have not decided which ones I'm going to use later. This is my hand, I have outgrown stamping hack nails and there's another nail that I used for the webinar. It is time to file them off, these are hard gel nails, so the easiest and the best way is definitely to use a nail drill. Since this is the spooky season and it is time to share some scary stories, I decided to share one which probably most of you haven't heard of because it happened about three years ago in Russian nail community. It was 2018, there was a woman called Elena and she was very popular on YouTube. I was just getting started on YouTube and I was watching some of her videos, but they were mostly about medical pedicure, so this is something I'm not really interested in. And also I noticed that her language was pretty strong for me. And also, in most of her videos, everything seemed so unsanitary. Like she never weared gloves, she never used a face mask, and also she did all these pedicures at home when there was a carpet, and I don't know, it just didn't look right, so I didn't watch them a lot. However, some of her new videos and thumbnails appeared in my recommended videos and they seemed really nice. Like she was attending retirement houses, she was helping disabled people to do their pedicure and uh, from that point of view I thought that's really nice of her. One day I was scrolling through my Instagram feed and the majority of Russian nail technicians I follow was sharing information about this lady. Like she's dangerous, she injured few clients, like really bad. And there was even the hashtag and a special Instagram account dedicated to it that said stop Zik. Zik uh, is her last name, so this hashtag technically meant stop her. 
they were sharing these terrible graphic images of the people she injured. It was so scary. Meanwhile, I did manicure and these are my clean nails. I actually like the look of them, but I think they will look even better with new extensions. So I fit the form, apply dehydrator, non-acid primer, and I'm going to start with the clear. I always build the base first. It is important not to apply clear just on the free edge, but also to apply it on the nail plate area because the best adhesion is always with the clear product. Getting back to the story, these images, these hashtags spread through the social media like a wildfire. It was everywhere on YouTube, on Twitter, on Facebook, on Instagram, and then it started to appear on the news. And there were local shows, you know, like the show when they discuss some kind of weird situations. And it was all over these shows, and these victims were attending it, but I think she never showed up to any of the show. Regarding my nail, since this is Halloween and I really want to glow in the dark because I will be attending a couple of parties, I picked the colors that have the best glow, in my opinion, which is yellow and orange. So I'm going to do an ombre. As for the story, this is what happened. There were few victims that were actually injured during her class. She was not just a YouTuber or nail technician, she was also doing classes that were pretty expensive, by the way. For five days, you need to pay 800 US dollars, and this is a lot of money for Russia. There was one lady who was probably the most popular victim. She said that she went to her and Elena said that she can help her for free. The problem was that I believe she had different kind of diseases like with the blood, she had trouble walking and also she had some ingrown toenails. And Elena's philosophy was that all problems that we have, like seriously, almost all of the problems, it was in one of her earlier videos, are due to Hydra. Hydra is kind of the name of the special bacteria, by the way, I googled it and I, nobody ever heard of it. So this Hydra lives under the toenails. So once you extract the toenail, you will never experience any kind of problems again. Like seriously, when I heard it from my friend, I thought it's like a joke. I mean, she cannot be serious, but she actually shared it all in her videos. And what's even more scary, people believed it for some reason. Oh my God, my nails look like a candy corn, but my intention is to do Halloween nails. So we proceed and on the thumb, I'm going to use that blue color that I liked a lot. So since Elena's philosophy was the best way to treat any kind of disease, it doesn't matter whether it's a blood clot, cancer, or anything else, or just an ingrown nail, the best way to treat it is to extract toenails, and once they grow back, it will be all good. The problem is, with some people that she helped, in this way it was okay. The nails grew back and it was all good but most of them had some serious diseases and it never happened. So they just attended her classes. She was using anesthesia. I hope I pronounced it right. No, she was not using me, the, you know, the anesthesia you use for numbing pain. So she did these shots um, in their toes so they didn't feel anything. Then she extracted their nails and the scariest part is that it was all at home, you know, in very unsanitary conditions. Like I watched one video and you can actually see the water, the carpet, I mean, everything looks so dirty and unsanitary. I have no idea how people even agreed to do this kind of procedure. After this show was on air, there were more victims that started to contact media, TV and social media and sharing their stories. 
most people were not injured that bad. I mean, she didn't extract every person's nail. Sometimes it was just one nail. What's interesting that even some people who attended her classes started to show up and record some kind of videos and explaining that when they were at her house, it felt weird, you know, they cannot tell whether they were hypnotized or something, but they like cannot explain why they were just standing there and watching what she was doing, even though some of them realized it was wrong. Meanwhile, I shaped and buffed the nails and they already glow in the dark, but we need to do the design. We need to make it more spooky. So I'm going to use black gel paint and add some crooked trees, a house, and probably something else. Well, we'll see it in a few seconds. This is the scary story I wanted to share with you today. I'm not sure if there was a happy end. I mean, I have no idea where she is now, but I know that police was looking for her and this is probably a rumor, so I have no idea whether it's true or not, but some people were saying that she was in jail for quite a while already, like she spent a few years there and I've never met her in person, so I have no idea whether it's true or not. The only suspicious thing that I noticed when watching her videos was her language. It was very unusual for a person who's working with the clients and in the beauty industry in general. What I learned from this story is that we need to be careful and definitely please never do any kind of medical and serious procedures such as extracting toenails or injections at someone's house when you see it's all unsanitary because it's very dangerous. Meanwhile, I'm sealing my nails with a top coat and cannot wait to see the final look. And there it is. We have a spooky house and the trees. And once we turn the lights off, it's even more spooky. And I have this face on my thumb. Blue color glows in the dark in a different way, but it's still nice. And by the way, powders glow by themselves too. Link to this kit as well as the discount code will be in the description box as usual. If you're first time here on my channel, please subscribe because I noticed that majority of the views are from non-subscribers and I'm posting videos every week and it will mean the world to me. Thank you and I will see you in my next video. Goodbye!